Okay, so these are the gauntlets. They start in part 14, and this is 16 where I'm going to finish them. I'm going to show you how I get them to look like this, and they're my favorite part so far. They look so cool. Hello and welcome back. So in this part, I believe this is part 16, I'm going to be painting and assembling the gauntlets. I have all the parts for one hand here, minus the glove. Um, but right now we got paint, so that's pretty much what we're going to do in this video, is we're going to paint these completely to match the bracers and shoulders. Same sort of style. And then once they're completely painted, um, I'll start assembling everything, gluing everything together and all that. So these have three layers of plastic dip on them. This one here needs to dry still, so I'm going to set this off to the side. But this is the back of the hand area, and it is going to get little swirlies like the other piece, armor pieces, but I decided instead of carving them in, since this is a small piece here, that I'm just going to paint them in. So I have my little reference pieces over here. So they're going to get a little, they're going to get these little swirls painted in there and the black. So, and the rest will be the silvery bits. Um, so I'm going to put this off to the side. It still has an hour, so before I can do anything with it, I like to let them fully dry, which is four hours. Um, I think it's even about three-ish. But all these guys down here, these are all the knuckle pieces and claw pieces or finger pieces for the right hand. Um, and these are all ready to go. So they have the three, la three layers of plastic dip on them. And I'm going to dust them off a little bit because I have been sanding since these were done. And I have some foam dust on there. But I'm about to use, again, say nothing I'm using on the other ones. I want to use this spray paint. It's a metallic hammered brown, so it has its texture bit to it. It really warms up the base uh, of the silver, making it a little bit warmer base. So if you watch the other painting videos, you'll kind of see what I'm doing with this. But if not, then you'll see it here. Um, so yeah, I did three layers of plastic dip, and I'm go I'm now I'm going to do three dip, three layers of the spray paint, and I'm not going to require the spray painting stuff. Um, I just repaint record everything I do in here by spray paint and plastic dip outside. So I'm going to do that off camera and then once that is dry, um, I like to wait until the next day to actually get to painting these. So I won't be painting, well I'll be out town tomorrow. But So these will get about two day break before I actually get to be painting them, which is fine. Uh, so I will get to um, Spray painting these, and then we'll get to painting them and all the stuff that you'll see in the video. Okay, so it's the next day, and I don't have any footage, but here is everything with three coats of spray paint on it, and it's dry and ready for the acrylics, which is the next step. So I think they look really cool even just with the spray paint on here. So now it's time to do the acrylics. So just like I did for my bracers and everything else, they're all going to the same paint job. I have a silver that will be in the description, and then a regular old black that I got from Walmart. Um, at first, I mix a good bit of the black into the silver so I get a nice, um, very metallic gunmetal color. And everything gets a coat of that, and I do it with a chip brush, that way you're seeing the brown underneath it. So here's kind of a close-up at that step. Everything has the dark silver on there. This is a highly metallic silver, absolutely love it. Um, so you really get some depth in there. So now I'm going to put a little bit lighter shade of silver. Um, still have some black mixed in there, but not as much. Still using a chip brush, so you're going to see those other layers behind there. You're going to see the darker silver, or you're going to see the brown. And everything gets a layer of that, so... Pretty simple to start out with until you get into those more detailed bits. So everything gets a coat. I believe there's 11 pieces, including the back of the hand part, per gauntlet. 22 pieces of painting all together, but I'm just painting one gauntlet in this video. I went ahead and did one ahead of time just to kind of get a feel for it and see how I wanted to do things. I believe at this point I'm doing my highlight, which is straight silver. I don't dilute it at all with black. Um, I'm going around all the edges, so anything that has like a sharp edge to it, it's getting that silver on there. And I am dry brushing it, sort of. I Technically, it's not the correct way to do it, but it does work. I'm painting a little bit of silver on the edge, wiping off my brush, and then I'm just smearing my brush really fast um, to blend it in around the edges. It looks pretty cool. And now I'm going around with my black, 
to do my little detail pieces, only the hand, the back of the hand piece gets black. Um, I'm going around all the edges of these little crevices where I've cut out stuff with the black, and then I also do my little swirly designs with the black. So this was the t most tedious part of doing the painting. So I had to make sure I got real nice and neat lines and all that. So all the acrylic painting and details and all that are done at this point, all I have left is my matte spray on varnish. So here's everything before the varnish. Being the matte spray, it does tone down that shine some, but if you look in the game, it's kind of like this weird, like it's very metallic, but it's also not too shiny either. So I went with a matte instead of a gloss to kind of tone down the shininess a little bit. I think it looks really cool though. So at this point I've done my three layers of the spray on varnish. So all the painting is done and ready to go and things can be assembled once this is totally dry. So here I'm ready to assemble things. I'm putting on the glove before I put on, like a plastic glove before I put on my actual cloth glove because I'm using the contacts in it and that will soak through the glove and onto my skin. So instead it's just soaking onto the glove underneath that I can throw away. So um, this part you can't see very well. I do a make some adjustments so you guys can see better but at this point I did I started with two of my fingers and I had no idea how I was going to do this I ran into a bunch of trouble at first I put glue on there for both my knuckle and my fingertip but then whenever I would go to put on the knuckle piece it would get stuck at my fingertip and it was just a mess so after I did those two I decided I would just put on the glue for just the knuckle piece put on the knuckle piece and then the fingertip so here I did those two those are the two I struggled with and I'm gonna do the other ones in a little better way and you guys will see a little bit better how I do it. But I think it looks really cool. I did get make a mess with the glue as you can see on there, so that kind of sucks because you can't really get rid of it once it's on there. It's the kind of glue that's very much on there but it's on there. But at least it's black and it's not super noticeable and it's at the bottom of my hand. So here you can see I started putting knuckle pieces on first. So I've glued on the knuckle piece and now I'm gluing on the fingertips. So I put the glue for the fingertip on after I glued on the knuckle piece. And I just have to carefully slip my finger into there and then it's pushed down. And it, this stuff does take about 24 hours, I believe, to fully cure, um, but it dries in a couple hours. So I have to be real careful at first, um, but then it's good to go once it's all said and done. So I just have the thumb left. Same thing, I glued on the knuckle and then I glued on the fingertip. And now for the back of the hand, um, I used a silver sharpie to kind of mark out where the corners go to help me, one, figure out where I need to put glue because I didn't want to be too noticeable. I put glue everywhere that doesn't need to be. And two, whenever I actually put the piece on there, it'll help me get it lined up. Here's how it's waiting for this stuff to dry. It takes about 10 to 11 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes you have to wait before you can actually stick the pieces together. And I had to leave this on my hand the whole time. But yeah, here it's all glued together. Um, the back of the hand piece needs heat formed again. It kind of flattened out a little bit during all this whole process here, but I really like how this turned out. I definitely can barely use my hands, but it looks cool and that's what matters, right? I'll have friends with me that can do stuff for me, I guess, like opening doors. Um, so yeah, I think it's really cool. So that's it for these. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Here's a picture of the other things I have done so far, at least a little bit you can see. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have links below to everything, and you'll see more parts for this soon, and I have a link to the playlist where I have um, all of my videos of making this cosplay. So I'll see you next time.